Happy Little Tailor. Probably my client. Once upon a time there was a young boy who sewed clothes. That is to say he was a tailor, but they call him the little tailor because he was short and had a boyish face. One afternoon he stopped sewing to have tea, but when he tried to spread honey on his bread, he saw more than twenty flies fluttering above the jar. He quickly picked up a piece of clothes and hit the box. Seven fell on the table. Good heavens, he said to himself. As far as I know, nobody has been able to kill seven flies with one blow. I'm a champion. The whole world must know of this. So he took a needle and started to embroider a beautiful silk ribbon with golden threads. The young boy boasted everywhere of having killed seven with a single blow. The people imagined he was talking about seven men. That's why they were afraid of him, and soon his fame reached the royal palace. Bring that boy, the king ordered his generals. Perhaps he can catch the ogre. So, following the king's instructions, the little tailor had to look for an ogre who had been stealing sheep for years to eat them, especially the kings which were the fattest. When he found him, the boy pretended to be nice. How are you, my friend? He greeted him, smiling. Get out of my sight, you insect! If you don't want me to crush you with my thumb, the ogre answered. Me an insect? Well, look, the little toy tailor exclaimed and showed him the embroidered ribbon. Seven with one blow, the ogre read, and soon he thought. This is the one who killed seven everybody's talking about. The ogre was a bit... Horrid, but since he was very confident that he was unbeatable, he said, You might have killed seven, but let's see if you're able to do this. He took a stone as big as his giant hand and squeezed it until it turned into sand. That's child play, the little tailor exclaimed. Pretending to take a stone from his bag, he took the piece of cheese and squeezed it until oil ran from his hand. The ogre couldn't believe his eyes. He had never seen anybody strong enough to extract oil from a stone. Let's see if you can equal this, the ogre shouted as he threw a stone beyond the mountains. Equal? I can throw much farther, the young boy answered. He took the little falcon from his pocket and released it while pretending to be throwing a stone. The bird immediately disappeared in the sky. The boy grabbed a branch, but he knew that as soon as the ogre released the trunk, he would no longer be able to hold the tree against the ground. And so it happened. The ogre released the trunk, which immediately straightened up and threw the little tailor into the air. He fell far away, but the ogre reached him in two steps, roaring with laughter. Nobody's stronger than me, kid, he told him. You're wrong. I'm stronger, the little tailor answered, and smarter, because I let the tree throw me far away in order to escape from the hunters who were aiming at us. Didn't you see them? I don't think you can do the same as I did. The ogre tried to do the same. He bent the tree down and sat on top of it. But <laughs> since he was so heavy, nothing happened. He started moving while trying to make the top lift from the ground, but he only tangled up in the branches. 
So the little tailor tied him to the tree trunk with the rope he had in his bag. Then he went to tell the king that he could go for the ogre. In exchange for his deed, the king paid him a fortune on the condition that he would leave the place forever. Such a strong man as him could beat my army and keep my kingdom, he thought. The farther he goes, the better. Back home, the first thing the little tailor did was to hide the embroidered ribbon. It has cost me enough trouble, he said to himself. He moved to a city where nobody knew about his fame for killing seven and set up a clothes factory. Sometimes, when nobody saw him, he'd take out the ribbon and while looking at it, laugh. Eto drugari. Nadamo se da vam se hrabri mali krojač na engleskom dopao. Do slušanja, ljubi vas, čigralište.